While I look at Caroline too, I do see a blood indicator. So can you tell me, Dr. Constantino, what is it that, how is it that you perceive this blood indication when you look at Carolyn? Can you describe what it is that is your clue? What? So held at the surface, if you want to think of the body as a 3D, um, which it is, you would see at the surface, this is very tricky actually, it's very tricky. Um, the best and the only thing that actually helped me and perhaps might help others uh, to visualize this is to think of those 3D images where when you're looking at them and you're really focused you don't see the picture but when you let your eyes relax a little bit and unfocus you can actually see the 3D image pop out or pop in. Um, so this is kind of what I'm doing here and just letting my eyes relax and not focus as much on the face but rather the structure and 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 I guess contour of the face. So right now I'm seeing red. Just the curry soup for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and Caroline also has the humor indicator. Yes, <laughs> which goes far in health care. Well thank goes you. Goes far in health. Um, so she's got some redness just held within the skin around the forehead, cheeks, but also around the side. And that's what kind of tells me it's more of a blood indicator because people will have pink cheeks. Uh, this is a bit more than that. Um, so that's what I'm looking at now. So I wouldn't be surprised that if we drew blood that something would show up as infl inflammatory processes, which are very common in cancer. But it, again, it's something that would direct me to, if I were to do a blood test, I'd be a bit more thorough than regular. So is there anything you know um, about her blood or if she's receiving any kind of medical treatments or medications, how that might be affecting the blood and what that, how that might guide you in supporting Carolyn? Absolutely. I, I am noticing that people who are on medication seem to have a blood indicator. I'm not entirely sure how to interpret that information. It's just something I'm noticing. Um, so, and Caroline is on on oral medications for her for her cancer. So this is probably what we're seeing. Not the curry soup? It could be the curry soup <laughs> as well. I, 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 I'm not entirely sure, again, how to interpret the information. I just know that it's there. So that's mm -hmm. just one more piece of information to the big puzzle of, of healthcare. Okay. And so for you, Caroline, the question I have for you, and everything you've been experiencing medically, in terms of this kind of evaluation where you could meet with your healthcare practitioner and discuss your health in this way, um, how does it compare to what you've experienced conventionally or just, you know, what, what's been your experience of what it's like to interact in this way and learn about body indicators? Any, anything you'd like to share? I think we've lost a lot as far as the whole, whole medical system, not just the natural medical system, but medical doctors. They quit looking they started to draw blood, they started to cut people open and look under a, a microscope, but they quit looking at the patient the way maybe the Chinese did 3,000 years ago. And there's probably a lot more to learn without cutting somebody up or drawing blood. So I'm really glad we're working on this. <laughs>